Look at this view. Beautiful, isn't it? This right here is a galaxy. This bright band of stars is called the Milky Way. Let's take a closer look at them. Whoa! Look at all these stars. There's our solar system. Do you know which star is present in our solar system? Oh, I know. The sun is a star. Correct! Just like our sun, there are billions of other stars in our universe. Our sun is a part of the Milky Way galaxy. But what is a galaxy? A galaxy is a very large group of stars, planets, dust and gases. It consists of billions of stars. Just like there are billions of stars in our galaxy, there are billions of galaxies in our universe. These galaxies fall into three main types based on their shape. 1. Spiral galaxies 2. Elliptical galaxies 3. Irregular galaxies Let's look closely at each of these galaxies. This is a spiral galaxy. Can you guess why? Because it is shaped like a spiral. Exactly! A spiral galaxy has a flat, disc-like shape with a bulge in the center. Spiral galaxies have spirals or curved arms that rotate about the center of the galaxy. These galaxies contain a large amount of dust and gases. Most of the galaxies, about 75%, are spiral. Our neighbor galaxy, Andromeda, is a spiral galaxy. Now look at this galaxy. This is an elliptical galaxy. Elliptical galaxies are oval in shape and look like flattened balls. These galaxies don't rotate and contain less dust and gas compared to spiral galaxies. As new stars cannot form in elliptical galaxies, they are mostly made up of old stars. 20% of all galaxies are elliptical. Now, this is an irregular galaxy. As the name suggests, irregular galaxies don't have a definite shape. The stars in an irregular galaxy do not appear to be grouped in any particular shape. The clouds of Magellan are irregular galaxies. Only 3 to 5% of all galaxies are irregular. Now, let's look at stars. We can make patterns out of stars in the sky. These patterns are called constellations. A constellation is a group of stars with a definite pattern or arrangement. Each constellation has a different pattern. The Big Dipper is a famous constellation of seven stars. Four stars make the bowl and three stars form its handle. The Pole Star is located just north of the Big Dipper and helps in navigation at night. Cassiopeia is another constellation near the Pole Star. The five brightest stars in this constellation form a capital M or W. Leo is also a famous constellation. Its stars are arranged like a backward question mark and a triangle. What is the difference between a galaxy and a constellation? They are both defined as a group of stars. Yes, but a galaxy is a larger group containing billions of stars and a constellation is a smaller group of a few stars forming a pattern in the sky. Time for an exercise. What shape do you think our galaxy has? Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is a spiral galaxy. 
you can see the spiral arms with a bulge in the center. The Milky Way contains about 100 to 200 billion stars, and our Sun is just one of them. Remember this galaxy we saw earlier? This is our home. This is where we are in the universe. Let's summarize. A galaxy is a very large group of stars, gases, dust, and planets. It consists of millions and billions of stars. There are three main types of galaxies. Spiral galaxies, elliptical galaxies, irregular galaxies. A constellation is a group of stars with a definite pattern or arrangement.